I've always said the most important thing is having a great family. The family is more important. And, you know, to me, the most successful people have always been the people that seem to be the happiest of people with a great family. President Trump often talks about his love for his family, and now a brand new book claims to have the inside scoop at what it's actually like to really be a Trump. Here now, Emily Jane Fox, author of the new book, Born Trump, Inside America's First Family. And as you point out, it is a gold cover, like uh, everything Trump. Exactly. And, um, you know, it, it's interesting. So you're, you're taking a look at, I'm sure that they would love that title, Inside America's First Family. And, and it is an extraordinary story. I mean, when you look back at how, this, how they got here. It's, it's unbelievable, and it's a story in which I don't think any of them truly themselves believed that they would be here. And because it is such a distinct and unique first family, that certainly the only of its kind, I, I just wanted to try and, and get under the hood and really understand who these people were, where they came from, to sort of understand where they will go. So how did you do that? I interviewed about 150 people for the book. I've been covering them for Vanity Fair for about three years. And so people all the way from... The closest people to them, friends, business associates, all the way down to someone who had a tennis match with Ivanka at Choate boarding school when she was a teenager. So how, did you talk to any, to them themselves? Have you ever met any of the, the kids? I have. You know, I've been reporting them for a long time, and uh, you, you interact with them in, in your normal reporting. This is certainly not an authorized biography, but I feel it's the closest to the truth as, as I could possibly get in interviewing. So what were your impressions of, of them, of, like, Don Jr. and Eric and Ivanka, when you met them personally? You know, I think, and I think that the book shows this as well, that they are a lot more human uh, and a lot more normal and less scripted when you get closer to them. I think that they have spent their whole lives in front of the camera and are on guard and have a certain image that they want to project. And when you're closer to them, and as their close friends will describe as well, they're much more down to earth, much more normal, funnier, more themselves. And so that's well, what I, mean, I tried to just get at. Norm, they're, I mean, they're human beings. Sure, you know? but, but I mean, I think sometimes it's like, it's hard you know, to, this to perception. That. Yes, absolutely, they are, because I've, you know, met all of them and had an opportunity to talk personally with them. Um, you know, so was that a concern of yours as you wrote this, that that they, you know, that you didn't want them to become caricatures? I, what I wanted them not to be were caricatures. Yeah. I, that was my whole point of writing this, is that we've seen for years, because they have been famous for so long, right. these, these personas that weren't necessarily as close to the truth as we could get, and because they have so much power and are, are, are world famous now, I wanted to get closer to the truth of them. And that's really what I set out to do in reporting this. So what, what do you think is most misunderstood about, about Ivanka, for example? Oh, I think she's much funnier in person. I think that she, uh, as all of her friends described, you know, she's not necessarily uh, as scripted or as uh, stayed as she can seem. She's someone who is a caring no, when friend. I watched, and... I watched some of the other interviews that you did on this, and it's like she's a horror show. Like, she's evil, and she's not presenting her parents, her father's, you know, she's misrepresenting children and women. Is that what, what you think? I think that that in her White House, the, the book stops at inauguration. So when I talked about her in the White House, that's, that's not what's in the book. But I, I would say... Um, there are times where I feel like she has been quieter in her role as an advocate than perhaps an, an, a normal advocate might be because she's in a, a role as a first daughter, and it's a tricky role. Her relationship with her father is complicated, and it's yeah. been difficult for her. I mean, anybody in that role would want to be supportive, uh, I would imagine. Of course, yeah. that's, but that's why it's unusual to have yeah. a first daughter as Absolutely. a White House Absolutely. It's very unusual. Yes. Um, it, Melania's jacket, what, what, what was she doing? It is a mystery. I and mean, this is a woman. The First Lady is incredibly careful about her choices. She does not do things unintentionally, particularly when it comes to message. fashion. Yeah, this is someone who really thinks about every message she's going to send. So I don't know what the message was, but it's hard for me to believe it was an accident. Emily, thank you. We got to leave it there. Born Trump.